Cool. Good afternoon, this is Eddie from Puritech introducing our F67P1 Rungson automatic filter valve. All right, I'm gonna show you the programming of this today. It's pretty simple, it's not complicated. Just follow this process and you will be 100% set. First, what we want to do is we want to plug it in. It's gonna go into an automatic flush mode for about 20 to 30 seconds. Keep in mind, this is a filter head. This is made for media like DMI 65. There you can see 67P1, it showed you. This is made for stuff like DMI 65, crash glass media, quartz sand, uh, carbon, your normal filter media. This is a filter head. The flow rate on this filter head is 6,000 liters per hour. Once we've gone, you can hear the motor running. Once we've gone over to this automatic flushing mode, it's gonna go into our settings mode. There we go. As you can see, we are now in the settings mode. Now, if we leave it for a few seconds, the head will automatically lock. You'll hear a beeping noise, and then you'll see a little picture of a key, which you'll see in a few seconds time. There you heard the beep. There you can see the key as we lit up now. Now what we want to do is we want to unlock the head because currently now we cannot change any settings. This is also to prevent people that don't know how to use the head from changing any settings once it's set. To unlock this, we press the up and, up and, up and down arrow key. We hold it in and you'll hear a beep again. You'll see the little key light is off. Now what we want to do is we want to start redoing our settings. So we press the arrow of the square button now it goes to your time this is the actual time of day it is right now now the time of day is right now is 20 minutes past one now keep bear in mind this is a 24 hour format clock so it, it runs in a 24 hour format and that i'm going to show you now it's currently set to 17 minutes past 12 this is pm in order for us to unlock it to be able to, to change it you'll see right here this the little spanner is lit is is fixed the little light is fixed that means the setting is set let's unlock it we press the square button you'll see the 12 the 12 o'clock is now lighting up you'll see the spanner is also flickering now we want to take that up to 20 minutes past one we go up you'll see there's a 24 hour format it's 13 that's one o'clock in the afternoon we're happy with that press the square button now we're at the 17 minutes we want to take it press up arrow key take it up to 20 minutes you'll see it's still flickering along with your spanner we want to keep the setting this is the setting this is the time right now press the square button and the time is set next setting we want to go to this two o'clock in the morning because it's a 24-hour format this is two o'clock in the morning this is the time it's set for your vessel to backwash so obviously you're going to set it at a time when somebody's not using the water so let's say we want to set it for three o'clock in the morning currently it's two o'clock in the morning we press the square button you'll see the two o'clock in the morning the two o'clock is actually flickering press the up arrow key it's now three o'clock press the square button we don't want to really alter the minutes if we wanted to we could go up to five minutes past three ten past three doesn't matter what keep it at three o'clock we're happy with that press the square button and it's fixed as you can see the spanner rule light is fixed go down to the next setting this is the f double zero this is a very similar to the full uh, to the automatic uh, to the softener head where it's got the a function this is just we leave it on double zero you never change this if you change it to f01 which you can do press the square take it up to f01 this means that you're putting it into manual mode we want to keep it in automatic mode so always just keep it at double zero don't alter it press the square button and we leave it at that setting going down to the next setting this is the amount of days you want the backwash to happen so currently it's set as you can see the little d is lit up it's set for every third day it will backwash let's say we want to set it for every five days we press the square button press the up arrow key take it to five we're happy that's now every five days press the square button and it's now set for every fifth day to do your backwash we go to your next section this is your actual backwash time so now it's currently as you can see the little m is lit up this is set to backwash for 10 minutes now let's say you don't want to backwash the water there's not a lot of turbidity in the water you don't want to backwash for too long but because you're doing more frequent backwashes we want to take the backwash to seven minutes press the square button press the down arrow button go to seven we are happy with that press the square button and now it's set to backwash for seven minutes Moving on to the next section. This is actual fast rinse. 
Similar principle. Sometimes people want to set the phosphorins just as a polishing agent after the backwash. So let's say we want to set your phosphorins to be for five minutes. Press the square button, press down till you get to five. We're happy with that. Press the square button and it's set. Press the down arrow. This is how frequently you want it to backwash in one day. Now this is set to backwash once a day. You generally don't want to backwash twice a day because on some of the heads, it'll backwash not twice a day at specific times because you cannot set the head in there, it'll actually backwash twice in a row and uh, that could cause a problem. So always just leave the setting at BL1, don't make any changes on that. The head is now set. It's going to basically stay like this for about one minute. After that, you can hear another beeping sound and you're gonna see the key light is going to shine, which means the head is programmed.